A severe rainstorm has struck Bosnia, flooding several towns in central and southern parts of the country, closing roads and leaving houses without electricity. The rescue services in the south of the country reported several people missing and called on volunteers and the army to assist. Rescue services in the towns of Jablanica and Kaiseljak said the power was off overnight and mobile phones lost their signal. The Jablanica fire station says that the town was completely inaccessible because roads and train lines were closed. The heavy rains and strong winds were also reported in neighboring Croatia, where several roads were closed and the capital of Zagreb prepared for the swollen Sava River to burst its banks. Severe rainstorms struck Bosnia overnight Friday, leaving several towns in central and southern parts of the country flooded with roads closed partly due to landslides. Aerial footage from the village of Luka in the north of the country showed partially submerged houses at a flooded area. The rescue services in the south of the country reported several people missing and called on volunteers and the army to come in to assist. The Federal Rescue Agency said that there could be victims but did not specify the number. The heavy rains and strong winds were also reported in neighboring Croatia where several roads were closed and the capital of Zagreb prepared for the swollen Sava River to burst its banks. Heavy winds have hampered traffic in the southern Adriatic Sea coastline and flush floods caused by heavy rain threatened several towns and villages in Croatia. Typhoon Krathen made landfall Thursday in the major port city of Kaohsiung, bringing torrential rains and fierce winds to southern and southeastern parts of Taiwan, according to weather authorities. Krathen made landfall in the industrial Siagang district of Kaohsiung around 12.40 p.m., the Central Weather Administration said. The typhoon packed maximum sustained winds of 126 km per hour near its center, with gusts of 162 km per hour. The typhoon is forecast to move slowly north and weaken into a tropical depression by Friday before it reaches the capital, Taipei. Kaohsiung earlier urged its residents to take cover from potentially disastrous winds. The slow-moving typhoon, which has been inching toward Taiwan at a speed of about 4 km per hour, doused eastern and southern parts of the island over the past five days, forcing thousands to evacuate from mountainous or low-lying areas. Schools and government offices have been shut around the island for two days, and all domestic flights have been cancelled. Gusts and heavy rains pelted the empty streets. Many residents woke up Thursday to mobile phone alerts urging them to take shelter from the potentially dangerous winds. The Weather Administration posted a Facebook message warning Kaohsiung and Pingdong County residents to not go outside when the eye of the storm passes above their area and the weather calms briefly because the winds and storms will pick up again afterward.